I had an aha moment on my 30 pound weight loss journey when I realized, oh, I'm following a meal plan. I'm finishing the meal plan, going back to regular life and gaining it all back. Then I go to my primary care doctor, I get my freaking physical, and I'm 30 pounds over freaking weight. Would you like a shot? I need to learn. I need to learn what in the actual like to properly fuel your body. And what I found was that if I track every single thing that I eat for one day, a typical Thursday, I just track it. At the end of the day, I can see for someone, if you want to lose weight, your calories are different. If you want to be in maintenance, your calories are different. And if you want to put on muscle, your calories are different. So when I wanted to lose weight and I realized I was over consuming 650 calories, that was my first step. Okay. You can continue to eat the foods you love, Michelle, but you've got to cut back 650 calories because you're putting on a pound and a half to two pounds a week. Then when I got that down, then I focused on my protein intake because it was too low. So I made small adjustments to my carbohydrates, add a little bit more protein and cut my fats where they're at. And what I found is I can still fuel my body with all the foods that I love. That means if I want to have wine or peanut butter cups or pizza, but it's in moderation and I know what's going in and I know what's coming out. What I had to learn is that calories aren't bad. There's en they're energy and there's a certain amount of energy that you give off based on your height, your weight, your age, your activity level, and the fact that you're a female or a male. If you're putting too much energy food in, it's stored as fat. It doesn't evaporate into the sky or come out of our rear end. So that's what really helped me to create a healthy lifestyle where it's a lifestyle of longevity. Not, I'm on a meal plan, I get off.